Good morning, YouTube. Lev Farmer 73 here. Uh, it's a rainy day here in Columbia, South Carolina. So I have to get up and get out here and harvest these lemons while I got a, a pocket of sunlight. It stopped for a while, but it won't be stopping for long. We got a 100% chance of rain today. So what I plan on doing is going out here and harvesting all the lemons and the oranges off of uh, Linda. Not Linda. <laughs> <laughs> off really? of Lillian, my the lemon, mama. yeah, I know the lip, the lemon tree, and down lemon lane. So that's what we're doing. But right now, I'm gonna show you. This is one example of they are all fully ripe, and they are they went from yellow, and now they turning orange out there on the tree. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. And we've already harvested a lot for the holiday season, and this is just one jar, which is gonna go in a plastic uh, bottle so I can freeze it. But right now. I've been using it so uh, to get my morning tea popping. No coffee today. Ooh, fresh organic honey down in that sucker. Ooh. So we're gonna head out here and we're gonna pluck all these citrus off of these trees before it's too late because I don't want them to freeze and if I leave them on the tree while it's raining this hard, what's gonna happen is the fruit will explode because it'll absorb so much fluid, so much juice, they'll explode. I've had that happen before and it's not gonna stop raining no time soon, so I better go get them, right? So come with me, let's go pluck these lemons off. Mm. That's it right there. Fresh organic lemon juice, fresh organic honey, and tea. Let's go out here and check this out. I think I'm gonna finish this first. Then we're gonna do so. We got a, uh, a break in the weather, so we're gonna hurry up and get this done because I don't know how long it's gonna last. Okay, so let's get this bucket and get rolling. That's her right there. I'm gonna set this tripod up and I'm gonna go over there and get them oranges too once we're done with this. So, let's get this going. I'm gonna start from the bottom, of course, cause it's easier. So, this is gonna kinda be brutal. I'm not gonna be as careful as I used to be now that this tree is mature. So, I'm gonna start cutting these off like grapes in a minute. These are the ones that just been laying on the ground all year. A couple of visitors. And as you can see here, got some ants. God, look at the size of this. It's like a grapefruit. Look at that one. That's a big one. This big branch back here because I hate that it's back here and I'm cutting off the whole branch. I'm taking the whole branch. It shouldn't even be back here. So we're gonna pick that up. That's what we're talking about. That right there is just from kitchen compost. All Meyer lemons, this big, look at the size. Meyer lemons. Now let's go take that big branch off over there. That's gonna be a doozy. This the one I keep putting in every, every video. 
this big mama jamma here. We taking that whole branch with us. Trust me, just take, it'll grow right back. I'm taking this whole thing. Oh, hope we can see this, let me see. I wanna make sure that we can see this whole thing coming off. That's that. That's the whole thing right there. Full of giant, juicy, healthy Meyer lemons. Look at the size of that. Put that string down there. Pruning my tree at the same time that I'm harvesting. All of this pressure is, is gonna relieve this tree and let it make it through the cold of this winter. It helps. Taking this whole thing off, how many on this? Well, no, it's only two lemons on that one. I'm gonna take that. Okay, we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna butcher this one. It was only four, but the huge weighing all that down. I know a lot of people don't really wanna see this but a lot of people really do. Look at that. That's what we're talking about. That's from just plain old kitchen compost, you guys. Bam. Look at that score. Look at the size of them. I'm taking this whole branch. It's too big to be on the ground. Look at that taking this whole thing uh, look at that I'm going to turn a lot of these into more lemon trees taking cuttings got plenty of this stuff mm -hmm. look meat and balls <laughs> Look at that, the size of that monster. Good God. So we got a full bucket. And it's overflowing. And I still got tons more to get off. So I'm gonna come back to you when I get them. Um, I'm trying to hurry up before it rain, but it looked like it might cut us a break. So I'm gonna just keep it going. This is a special spot here because this is actually a whole branch. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm gonna try to bring it in. That's a whole branch just leaned over that was going up my, ch this is one big giant branch. Just, uh, I ain't gonna remove the whole thing. God, that's heavy. Let me come out here and show you what this is looking like. That's what that's looking like. Like a bunch of grapes, Meyer lemons. That's how you do it right there. Let me shrink that back down. That's how you do it, you guys, right there. Meyer lemons at its best, off of Lillian. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine lemons right there. Let me make sure that's right, two, four. Yep, nine lemons like a bunch of grapes. Bucket is almost full already. It's hard for me to get in here. That lemon was stuck. Here's another bunch right here that I need to figure out. That's coming off of this side branch. Let's get that. And I'm also trying and being careful because what can happen here, these lemons are so heavy that I don't want one of these branches to slingshot me in the face after I cut it off. That's how heavy they are. Because once I remove the weight from the lemon, you know, get the old wily coyote going on. Now I gotta get deep down in the jungle now. Cause I'm not exactly sure. See that thorn right there? I don't know if you can see that. That sucker is like a dagger. I'm gonna cut that off. 
That's just waiting to destroy somebody's head. If you got thorns, just cut them off. It ain't gonna hurt nothing at all. Ugh. Yeah, that's, that's the branch I've been looking for. Yeah, with all them lemons. Ugh. That's heavy as shit. Ugh. That was one long branch before I cut it. One big whole solid branch. I'm about to take this sucker off right now. I can't play with this one. Ugh. So there we go. You guys see that? This gonna be a good cutting. I ain't gonna ruin that whole branch. That's a good cutting branch. Get these robes on the ground. We'll be about done. There we go. Come on home, sucker. All right, you guys. So, that's about it. Let's go rack it up and see how we came out. Can't leave my oranges. Wari Satsuma. And as you can see, scale is on the peel. This wasn't like this just a week ago. When the seasons change dramatically like that, what I've noticed is you get a lot of pests infestations of mealybugs, scale, all of that stuff. So the food is still good. All you do is just rinse that off. Rinse the scale, the scale come right off. It's just a insect like any other insect. So that's the Owari Satsuma. We're gonna open those babies up and give them a taste. Now we've been eating them. We actually cleaned the other tree off over there. This this tree here, well, all of these orange trees is dedicated to Prince's Lead because my baby planted these trees when I hurt my back. She took care of this for us this past spring. So, this is my baby tree. This is the first year this tree was, was put in the ground and is doing this. So what I'm going to do, you guys, is I'm going to come back out here tomorrow when it's not supposed to rain. And I'm going to spray neem oil all over this tree to get rid of these pests and to keep protecting it through the winter. Because I do not want nothing to happen to these trees. And they literally will suck the life out of your tree. They don't really harm it instantly. They just slowly eat your tree. All right. Small harvest, but a harvest nevertheless. There you go. Got a nice little amount of Awari Satsumas. Let's check out this little baby one. Oh, it's juicy. Oh man, definitely juicy. And the smell, oh my goodness. I hope y'all seen that juice pop off. So it's definitely, it's definitely still some good. Mm. Good God. There you go. So let's go in here and tally it all up. All right. And we got one more honorable mention. Our ruby red grapefruit. It's almost yellow. Yellow enough. Time to come in the house. Ruby red grapefruit, you guys, in a pot. That's going in the ground this spring. And before I call it a day, I just had to show you guys something. Here's the cuttings that I took off my bear's line. Look real close and tell me what you see. These are cuttings. Again, cuttings. Root structure coming out here. Look at there. This is just cuttings that I just took not too long ago. 
couple of months ago and we already have fruit blooms. It's time to get these guys in another pot. This is little Kira. All of the lemons on this one. And this is for my friend that asked me about. They wanted to see the fruit production and the stages of the air layers that I took. And you know when I did that air layer, and as you can see, this is the same year, same season, just a few months down the line, loaded with fruit. So this is for my friend that was asking me about that in that video just recently. This is that same air layer. As you can see, you can identify it. A uh, little Kira, the same pot I put it in, everything in the roots have spread down there but this is that one so this tree will get huge and loaded full of delicious Meyer lemons all right you guys i hope you enjoyed it i sure did and i'm glad i got it out of the freeze before it was too late look at that that's that's a Meyer lemon that ain't even the grapefruit here's the grapefruit right here course they're gonna get bigger in time look at that yellow jacket on my fruit get off my fruit sucker that ain't one of my friends right there see me backing up so let me hurry up and get my fruit in before it's too late my mustard green still growing big and tall and strong and delicious so let me get in here all right you guys I appreciate everything appreciate you guys hanging out with me but this was pretty much the last harvest of this year for me. Now it's time to start putting tarps on stuff and getting things protected. So thank you so much for all that you do. Keep on gardening, you guys. All right? Lev Farmer 73, I love you. And I'm out. Happy holidays. Yeah.